crystal lattice and unit cell. Here the main characteristics of the crystalline solid is a regular and repeating pattern of the constituent particles. So if 3D arrangement that is the three dimensional arrangements of the constituent particles in a crystal is represented like this that is di uh, diagrammatically like this. So in which each particle is depicted as a point. So this arrangement is called crystal lattice. The whole thing is crystal lattice. Then uh, the regular 3D arrangements of point is space in a car, uh, crystal lattice. That is, uh, that is the portion of a crystal lattice is like this. So this is the uh, portion of three dimensional cubic lattice and its unit cell. So this is the cubic lattice and this unit cell is this. Here there are 14 types of that is 14 possible 3D uh, lattice that is three dimensional arrangements of lattice. They are called Bravis lattice. See the characteristics of the crystalline uh, lattices, crystal lattices, first three points are there. Each point, each point in a uh, lattice is called lattice point or lattice site. Then pa each point in a crystal lattice represents only constant particles which may be an atom or molecule or group of uh, ions. Then Lattice points are joined by straight lines uh, to bring out the geometry of the lattice. Then uh, there is the uh, parameters of the unit cell. That is the unit cell is the smallest portion of a crystal lattice which when repeated the different direction uh, generates the entire lattice. So uh, the unit cells are characterized by the dimensions along the three edges look here three edges that is a b and c uh, these edges may be or may not be mutually perpendicular then angles like alpha beta gamma that is the angles between the edge alpha is b and c this is b and c is alpha and beta between a and c between a and c then the gamma is between a and b so this is the unit cell characters with six parameters that is a b c angulus alpha this is edge length alpha uh, and para angulus alpha beta gamma totally six parameters of there then the primitive and centered unit cell the primitive unit cell means that is uh, the centered unit cell. When the primitive uh, constant particles are represent only the corner of position, if unit cell is called the primitive unit cell. First, uh, uh, centered unit cell. What is that? Centered unit cell. Here, when unit cell contains one or more constituent particle present at the position other than corner, the addition to the uh, those those at corner, that means it is called center unit cell. Uh, the center unit cell three types. One is body centered unit cell, face centered unit cell. Then N centered unit cell. Here uh, I will explain you what is the body centered unit cell. Unit cell contains one constant particles uh, that is atoms or ions or molecules. At its body centered besides ones that are uh, and its corners. Then the phase centered unit cell is unit cell contains one one constant particle present at the center of the phase, center of the each phase, besides 
the ones that uh, ones that are at its corners then the n center unit cell uh, unit cell one constant particles uh, present at the center of uh, any two opposite faces besides one present the corner i will show you the body center uh, face center and the n center uh, unit cell so look at this uh, this is the body center cubic crystal so uh, center of the body having the point that is the crystal lattice so that this is body centered cubic cell and this is uh, face center cubic cell the face center six faces are there that is in your cubic having six faces that is uh, one you can see here one two then this side and opposite side four and this side in this opposite side is six so totally six so uh, six cent uh, center of the faces like that six faces are there so that this is face centered cubic crystal or fcc you can tell fcc this is bcc and this is the n center one end to at the bottom of this top of the uh, position and the bottom of the position so that this is the n center cubic crystal then uh seven types of there is the uh, primitive cell like this the cubic in your textbook uh 1.7 that seven primitive unit cells are uh, seven uh, primitive unit cell crystals are given there you can see that see the cubic like this this is the seven primitive unit cell uh in crystal look at this first one the crystal system is cubic the cubic system the possible variation is for this possible variation is primitive body center and the face center you can see there is unit cell in 14 types of bravis lattice uh, in your textbook there are some uh, 3d arrangements as uh, diagrams are there you can look at that the primitive body center and the face center this is the possible variation and the axial there is distance are edge length so the distance are the edge length a is equal to b is equal to c that's mean a equal to b equal to c so here the angles the axial angles look at this axial angles all are the same that's mean alpha beta gamma that is a is equal to b is equal to c that is edge lengths are same and the axial angles are also same alpha uh, is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degree then uh, the uh, example is nacl sodium chloride copper and zinc blend so this is the example of this cubic unit sir next next look at this tetragonal the tetragonal having uh, the possible variation is one primitive and the body center uh, this is the possible variation all these uh, seven having the primitive only the possible the possible variation all the seven uh, crystal system having primitive but some uh, some crystal system having body center some crystal having uh, face center uh, some uh, crystal system having only primitive like this okay for the tetragonal is primitive and the body center is a uh, possible variation and here a is equal to b but c not equal to c so here the a is equal to b not equal to c for the tetragonal uh, the angle look at the angle angles are 90 degree so that alpha is equal to beta is equal to 90 gamma is equal to 90 degree so the angles are same here then uh, the example is white tin uh, titanium dioxide calcium sulfate so these are the example of the tetragonal uh, crystal system then look at this orthorhombic the orthorhombic having the crystal possible variation is primitive body center face center and that end center already uh, we have seen that end center so these are uh, orthorhombic having four possible variation 
here look at here a is not equal to b is not equal to c so the edge lengths are different a is not equal to b is not equal to c look at the angle angle is 90 degree all the angles angles are 90 degree so alpha 90 degree beta 90 degrees gamma 90 degree so alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is 90 degree then uh, rombo header look at this uh, so sorry uh, monoclinic the monoclinic having the possible variation is primitive and end center so here the monoclinic is a this is a a b and c a is not equal to b then not equal to c so a uh, is not equal to b is not equal to c so here alpha and the gamma that is alpha and ga uh, gamma is 90 degree but the beta is not equal to 90 degree so here the example is monoclinic sulfur uh, sodium sulfide uh, decahydrate so example of this monoclinic then hexagonal hexagonal only having primitive the possible variation is only having primitive then a is equal to b but not equal to c because the edge length is different here a and b is same so a is equal to b not equal to c for edge length then the angle angle look at this beta and this uh, gamma that is sorry alpha and beta the alpha and beta this is alpha alpha is equal to 90 degree so alpha and beta is 90 degree so alpha is equal to beta 90 degree but gamma look at this gamma this is 120 degree so gamma is equal 120 degree that's mean alpha is equal to beta not equal to gamma then the uh, example is graphite, zinc oxide, cadmium sulfide. So these are the example of the hexagonal primitive uh, cubic system. Then a rhombohedral or trigonal. Rhombohedral or trigonal. Here the possible variation is only primitive. It also only one primitive. Then here A is equal to B is equal to C. So that all the edge lengths are same. So A is equal to B is equal to C. But the uh, look at the uh, angle alpha beta gamma. This alpha beta gamma is uh, alpha is equal to beta. This means uh, is equal to gamma is not equal to 90. Not all the angles are various. That means alpha is not 90 degree, beta also not 90 degree, gamma also not 90 degree. Then the triclinic class one this system possible variation also this cubic system also possible variation is only primitive here a b is different than c is different than so that the edge line so a is not equal to b is not equal to c then the angle angle also different so that alpha is not equal to beta is not equal to gamma so it's not equal to 90 degree so here the possible uh, sorry uh, example is uh, potassium uh, dichromate and copper sulfate pentahydrate like this so these are the example so the seven primitive unit cell and their possible variation uh, and the centered unit cell uh, this type we were discussed then the unit cells of 14 types of Braves lattice you can see in your textbook that's mean uh, what are the possible variation what are the two dimensional three dimensional arrangements so you can look at your textbook next number of atoms in a unit cell we will discuss in the next class